So I wanted to share with you a book recommendation that I have. Um, it was recommended to me by a friend in these past several months. It is called The Mission of God, A Manifesto of Hope for Society by Joseph Boot. Um, it, I'm not trying to be exaggerative or is that a word, exaggerative? But this is, aside from the Bible, this is probably the most important book I've ever read. And here's why. Because Joseph Boot basically takes what we're dealing with in our modern culture, our modern culture as a society as a whole, and our modern culture as a church, uh, specifically relating more to uh, Western civilization. He takes this, this situation that we're in right now, and he looks back at Scripture at back at the early church fathers and he basically takes those old things it's he's not creating some new thing in this book it's not some like like new strategy or new plan he basically takes these old strategies and plans and applies them to this very modern very uh this this the problematic modern situations that we're having right now um it's authored by Joseph Boot, who is a founder of the Ezra Institute for Contemporary Christianity and is also the senior pastor of Westminster Chapel, Toronto. This book extensively explains how the modern church is effectively equipped to engage in the building up of our cultures and societies. So many of the current issues that the church is dealing with today are addressed by this book, and it helps you realize the importance and expanse of the Great Commission. The mission of God effectively charges Christians with why the Great Commission cannot just be about sharing the gospel. The Great Commission must be about building families who honor the Lord, engaging with the culture as a church, calling nations to obey the law of God, and infusing Christ-centered living within wayward societies. Basically, this, this book doesn't, it doesn't, it addresses eschatology. It doesn't go super, super deep into the different eschatologies, but it shows you why post-millennial eschatology is so important. I, I wouldn't say it tells you why post-millennialism is true, I would say it shows you why post-millennial eschatology is true. Um, but even if you are a, a pre-millennialist or amillennialist, like whatever, right? I, I do believe that it shows you how the church can be engaging with this current climate right now. So to sum it up, more importantly, this book addresses the, ins the implications of post-millennial eschatology. You know, what does it mean for the church if the world is not just in a downward spiral toward, destru toward destruction? Um, scripture is clear on what we must do, but if you've been looking at it through a premillennial lens your whole life, like I have, it can be kind of difficult to imagine the church operating outside of that framework. So you can find this book at your Christian bookstore or Amazon. It is definitely a recommended buy.